Hello friends, family, and sports fishing enthusiasts, and welcome to the video that I've called How I Built a Successful Full-Time Wedding Photography Business. And let's begin. It's a three-step process. One, basic skills. Two, awareness. Three, sales. Four, repeat. It's a four-step process, I guess. But you only really have to spend time and effort on one of the steps, and the others will kind of take care of themselves. You'll see what I mean throughout this video. Step one, the basic skills. You probably already have them, or if you don't, your camera probably does. A 50 millimeter lens with eye autofocus set to f1.8, an aperture priority with auto ISO and good light with Imagine AI editing your files for you. Just took three years off your learning curve. In all seriousness though, gear is important. That said, you don't have to go out and buy the latest and greatest stuff. Most cameras from 2017 or later will get you on just fine. I have some videos on the channel about my current Sony kit, or you can scroll back and see my older digital SLR Nikon kit or my Canon R6 kit. So subscribe, check them out after this. You can click the button right now if you want. To summarize why I shoot Sony so often right now, it is because of the Tamron 35 to 150 F2 to F2.8, and that is a lens for Sony. You can adapt it, but it's kind of messy. It just works well on Sony. That's the Cole's notes on why I'm shooting more Sony than Canon this year. So back to the steps. You have your gear. If you're like me, sadly you're introverted and you have no communication skills, you're probably great at video games though. The biggest part of the learning process is to actually get out there and start working with real life couples. It's awkward at first, but after two or three engagement style shoots, you'll probably honestly be pretty good. The additional layer of awkward forever is when you're in a very loud family environment on a wedding day with a lot of people shouting and trying to control the family formals, or if a friend of the couple steps in kind of as their acting creative director and starts directing all the photos and telling people what to do. In their defense, sometimes they do a great job, but sometimes they also have the worst ideas. I'll tell you how to diffuse this in a moment, but if you're a member of the members website, you have access to my wedding photography photo checklist, so you can use that as a starting point. The big thing that helps me out for family photos is having a list the couple has given me in advance. If you can ask the couple for a family member or a friend that can call out names, this usually disarms any potential problem situations and puts them on the same team as you rather than a house of problems or a field of problems or maybe a waterfall of problems wherever you're doing the family photos. It really is a huge help to be aligned on the same team rather than have them trying to battle you for family photo combinations. So number one, skills. Learn them by getting couples to do a shoot with you. You can watch my behind the scenes videos, but it's a lot different once you're the one in control. So go do it yourself. Also, if you're interested, I just released a video set to members called Your First Million in Wedding Photography. The first few videos go over all of the basics in much more detail and talk about the easiest ways to get those couples to be in front of your camera. Because I had a lot of struggles in the beginning even getting people to allow me to take their photos for free. So it really is important to get them in front of your camera in order to practice. And the really cool thing is that a lot of those couples will actually turn into paying clients either in the immediate future or in the more distant future. First Million Set also goes into how to scale your business in a sustainable way so you don't burn out if you do start doing lots and lots of sales every single year. Step two, awareness. I can simplify this to a simple statement that's maybe difficult to execute. Three touch points. You want your couple to come across you in three different places if you'd like for them to book you incredibly quickly. That could mean that a friend mentions your name and they see a paid ad on social media and then they go to a venue and you're a preferred vendor at that venue. Any one of these individual points could get you that inquiry, but the most qualified and likely to book couple is going to be the one that sees you in a few different places. They honestly might not even remember where they heard about you or, or how they came across you in the beginning if asked. It's just a feeling that they have, that they like you, that they want to work with you and you're the photographer for them. This stacks on top of having a great website, a great storefront online. Uh, Focal, which is a company that I'm a part owner of, is actually running a Black Friday deal right now on websites if you're interested. Basically, you put in a few options, you upload a few images, and they build you a website. The team has built my website and Lindsay's website and hundreds of other websites, so if you're interested, uh, get in on the Black Friday deal because it is one that will definitely never come back ever, ever again. And there are only 20 of my slots available. So if you want to get one of these websites, there's a link in the description. I also haven't announced this yet. This is the accidental announcement. Back to websites as a whole, not just focal websites. But one thing that I would do differently if I could go back is I would have invested time into actually having a website built for me rather than spending years trying to build it myself only to eventually get focal to do it anyways. If you want to scale your business to making millions of dollars over the next few years, 
It's important to understand what can be outsourced to free up time. Then you invest the time that you've saved into activities that are actually going to generate your business more revenue rather than just working on the day to day. Again, more in depth into this at the millions video set that specifically I would say start at video eight if you're already kind of up to the basics and you're to this point. So awareness, three touch points. Maybe that sounds easy, but it really is a two year overnight success. This means becoming involved with your community and working with other vendors, creating styled shoots, getting on preferred vendor lists. There's actually a video specifically about getting on preferred vendor lists over on the weekly members content and getting out there and doing work for other couples and families around your city to really get word of mouth going. If you try to focus on all of these at once, you're going to become a sad panda and you will burn out. Focus on what seems the easiest and the most organic to you and go from there. Paid ads are also a great touch point and they work incredibly well as lead generation in the beginning. The problem with paid ads is that if it's the only place that they hear about you, it's going to be a real grind to make that sale, just like the 2003 Adam Brody skateboard classic grind. So by having more touch points out there, you are going to create an easier experience for yourself. Step number three, sales. You have the work, they've seen you in a few spots. Now, how to make the sale? Great question. Let's ask Taylor sitting a half a foot to the left for the answer. My left, not your left. If you're operating the three touch point strategy, sales will honestly not be that difficult. And the more credibility indicators you have out there on the internet machine, the easier it's going to be for you. One massive change that I made on my website with my new focal design is that I now have all of my pricing public. This means that pretty much Every single new inquiry that comes in is ready to book. I switched from having a starting at price to get people encouraged to contact me to just come see what my pricing is, wait for me to respond with that PDF. And now with my website prices posted, yes, I get many less inquiries, but the booking percentage is unlike anything I've ever seen. I'm not here to tell you exactly how to run your business and what's right for you, but for me personally, this has been a big step forward. Do I likely miss out on one or two weddings per year that I could have convinced them and the, just find the budget, I'm, I'm so good, you've already inquired, you're halfway there. Yeah, probably. But I also now attract super low maintenance couples that aren't into communicating for no reason. They are busy, they run their own businesses. So my email inbox has become significantly less than what it used to be. And I have a full pricing course up over on the members site if you're a member or if you're having a focal website made for the Black Friday offer, they will help you set up your packages into something that makes sense. Again, only 20 of them available, so get in quick. So sales weirdly kind of takes care of itself. For me, another key was offering video as well. So myself or a team of two, I do both photography and highlight film coverage. The couples that connected with me loved the idea of a small team to come do this. In most cases, they weren't going to be hiring a full video team either because they didn't have the budget or more commonly that they didn't actually like the number of people, that they didn't want an additional three or four people there doing video. And if they could keep it the small team of just myself and my second, that is how they wanted video to be done. My average sale for weddings went up massively as well as the overall number of bookings since I was no longer being compared to all the other photographers. I was kind of this weird one-stop solution if they wanted video as well as their photography coverage. Then step four, repeat. As I mentioned, you only really have to focus on the awareness step, add some touch points and paid ads to be either the first or the third touch point. And honestly, just get out there and have some fun in the community and your industry. The way I see it, a successful wedding photography business is not rocket science. I have seen thousands of them built. It basically just comes down to the following, be a good person that does good work, and ideally also be interested in the things that your couples are interested in that resonate with your couples. Maybe it's travel, maybe it's a sport, maybe it's something that you're posting about online that will connect you with them. And I think it's more important now than ever before to be as transparent and to be as real on the internet as you can be, or maybe we'll call it business real or business professional real, but be a real life actual person out there. Don't hide everything. They will unfortunately not think that you're a real person if you're not regularly posting on the internet. Again, this is this is my experience and how I built my business. So I really hope that you found this helpful. There's lots more on the channel here and also over on the Millions video set, as well as Book More Weddings 2022 and 2023 that's gonna be coming out in January. And get in on that focal offer if you do need a website because those slots will disappear very quickly. Also coming into Black Friday is the last time you're able to sign up to the members website for the monthly rate. After Black Friday is over, you will have to sign up for the annual. 
which is a lot more expensive. So if you wanna get on the monthly, you just pay monthly rather than the $259 annual fee. You can get in right now and you can keep that for as long as you want. But after Black Friday, you will no longer be able to sign up for the monthly offer. So get in there now if you want. That's all I have to say. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please put them in the comments below. I'll see you again next time.